Hi everyone, welcome to the Gutenberg tutorial series. In this video, I am going to show you how you can design and customize the image slider using Gutenberg plugin. Let's get started. Now I have created one page. Let's name it as a image slider and you go to template library and in this block section go down and find out the image slider as of now there are two blocks you can insert any one of these for example i'm inserting the first block here comes the design publish the page and view the page this is default design but this is not good enough let's go back into the setting document and in the page attribute choose good enter full width update the file and view the page now it looks much better I'm going to customize this image slider. I'm going to change the font and font color of this text, headings and descriptions and also change the background image. Go back to the edit page. First of all in the block option here and in general there are three options block title. You can enable or disable. For now I just keep it disabled. And in the slider item this is where you make changes like this is the first image. I'm going to change the first image. Edit image. Insert the first image. First, this is the first image slider heading you can change from here and this is description and this is second picture let me change the second picture now this add item allows you to put next slider click in here and upload the image for example I upload this this is how you can add more and more sliders in the block items you have got only one option here for free version you can enable or disable the caption from here as of for now i just keep it like that you can also decrease and increase the speed of the slider here from this slider for now i just keep it reset and infinite loop allows you to keep your image sliding in the infinite loop you can also set the autoplay here enable and disable the description from here now go to the block item and style and here you see the display option whether normal image or background color or background image as of now I choose the background image and you can choose the background size here cover contain default I recommend you to put the cover which allows you to cover the background without having problem of the size you can play around this image setting and if you want to overlay color here you can see it from here as of now I just put this one and slider content Caption option center or left or right it's up to you as of now let me put the right one here you can set arrows on and off from here which allows you to slide the image in the screen there are lots of design and customization options that allows you to design in best possible image slider this is how you can create an image slider in the container I hope you enjoyed this video for more tutorials subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next video